Today we're trying out the Russell Hobbs Fiesta Crepe Maker. We picked this up for $24.99 from the middle of Lidl. It looks a nice sized appliance. Comes with a three year warranty. Runs at a thousand watts. The cooking surface is 30 centimeters diameter. Has a variable temperature control temperature indicators and comes with two cooking utensils. So that good size cooking surface is ideal for real gourmet crepes. The indicators tell you when it's heating up and when it's ready to cook. The utensils include a spatula and a spreader. The temperature control goes from 1 to 5. And it looks fairly simple to use. So let's get this out of the box and see what we're looking at. So this comes with the user manual. This is the parts, cleaning and maintenance guide. Tells you how to use the appliance and there's a nice simple recipe that will make 12 crepes. The appliance itself looks really smart with a good size 30 centimeter cooking plate. The lead is quite short but it does wrap around the base quite neatly. You've got the indicators here, one to tell you when it's powered up and heating and the other to tell you when it's ready to cook. A nice simple power on off switch and the sliding gauge that runs from one to five which is the temperature control. We also have a wooden spreader if you like to spread them nice and thin like real crepes and a plastic spatula which will come in quite handy for folding or removing. So we're going to heat this appliance up and then let it cool down, give it a wipe over with a soft damp cloth and then we'll whip up some batter and give it a try. So I've whipped up that nice simple crepe batter and we'll heat it up and ready to go. Let's see how well it works.
So there we have it, that's the Russell Hobbs Fiesta Crepe Maker. Super simple to use. I think it's definitely value for money. It cleans up nice and easily with a soft, damp cloth. And it's quite fun to play with. You can make your own crepes and decorate them or fill them however you wish. We like to have sweet crepes in our house. But we know some people prefer savoury ones. So we're going to add this to our middle of little playlist and hopefully someone's found that useful. Thanks for watching.